All right, we're gonna uh, continue with the build on the N55, ending in 7701. So we're pretty much ready to button up the bottom half of this engine, put the oil pan on. Um, everything has been done, you know, pistons insulation, oil pump insulation, baffle insulation. Uh, one thing we wanna do before we put the oil pan on is just go through a check, a visual check, you know, Verify your oil pump is torqued. You got your visual indication. You can see that that's been torqued. Your oil pump nut, that's been torqued. Your baffle plate insulation, those have been torqued. Uh, your suction tube, uh, inspect your suction tube. Make sure there's no debris or anything inside your suction tube. Uh, whatever you can see here, inspect in, in inside here with a light. No debris or anything like that. Rotate the engine over, uh, make sure nothing is in there, if, things, if anything was in there that falls out, gravity should take it to the bottom. Inspect your chain module, uh, lubricate, put some oil on your chain module, rotate the engine a couple times, 360 degrees. Inspect the, the chain module, the path of the chain module, make sure everything is in alignment, nothing is skewed, nothing is loose. Check your bolt torque of your triangle uh, chain module plate. Uh, look at your hub, make sure your hub is rotating true. Uh, just stuff like that. And you know, you just wanna have a final look, make sure everything looks good, everything is tight. And then we're gonna go put the oil pan on and I've gone through my checklist already, everything looks good. So we've got a brand new aluminum screw, so we're gonna install our oil pan here.
All right, guys. So we're going to continue the uh, build on the uh, N55, uh, ending in 7701. So we've got the lower half completed. Uh, remember the last time we only torqued this bolt to 100 newton meters. So now we've got to do a 270 degree torque. Uh, so you can see I marked my starting position right here, line it up to my bolt, and then I've got to go all the way to here. So this bolt has to come all the way to here. Okay, you can see I've got my locked off. Uh, this is my setup that I do uh, to torque this. So I've got my crankshaft holding tool and I've got it locked onto another uh, engine stand here on the metal right here. So then I'm gonna use a big boy over here. I call it Bob. I'm gonna use big Bob over here to torque uh, torque that and it's gonna take every bit of that uh, many times many times I end up breaking this right here because of that torque okay so let's get to it That's a lot. This is getting hard. We got about 30 degrees more to go. Almost there. Maybe five or ten degrees more to go.
Oh, that was hard. That was hard. All right. You can see, I always go past just a little bit, make sure I get my 270 plus, plus, uh, plus five degrees, I don't go minus. All right, so this is torqued. This is good to go. Oh, uh, that's good. All right, so. Hey, so we're back on this N55 build. Uh, serial number 7701. Uh, the bottom half is completely been rebuilt. All pans on. Uh, front uh, dampers on. Crankshaft hub bolts been torqued. 100 newton meters plus 270 degrees. Front seal is on. Uh, we still got to put the rear seal on. Injection sealant's been installed. So we're gonna about to go ahead to put the head on. So over here, we have a fully remanufactured head. The deck uh, surface has been decked. Took about two or three thousands, maybe up to five thousands off. Uh, head's been completely rebuilt. Valve has been inspected. Uh, valve guides uh, has been inspected. Diameter of the inner diameter of the guides versus the diameter of the stem. Um, valve has been lapped. Head's been cleaned. Um, after that, the head was vacuum tested. Uh, we're sitting right around 28 inches of vacuum on all the valves, which is pretty good. So, before we put the head on, um, typically this, this has been machined, so I'm not going to check the flatness. But on the block, I went ahead and uh, checked the flatness of the block. The block's within, actually, less than 2,000s. All uh, longitudinally, longitudinal, and transverse. Longitudinal is this way, this way, this way, and transverse this way. So that has been checked. We're good. We've got new dowels in. All the holes have been blown out. No debris in the holes. All the cooling jackets been blown out. No uh, debris or anything. Uh, rotated the uh, crankshaft a few times. Inspected. Uh, the chain path that looks pretty good inspected the pistons as they go up and down that looks pretty good so let's go ahead and get the head on and the uh, and torque it down okay brand new head gasket standard 1.2 millimeter <laughs> 